Hey everybody, so I just want to say thank you for all the great responses, um, positive feedback and everything on my Samantha font video. Um, so I felt inspired to do what I'm doing now to take the request for the shorter videos on some of the things for the newer people that are just joining the cricket world and people that doesn't really understand some of the things that are crucial to doing what we do. So I want to do a video on some of the basics to get everybody started. And one of the things that was really requested, two things, were slicing and welding and uploading from images from Google to Design Space. Um, what I do, what I'm going to do on this video, we'll do uploading from Google to Design Space. So what I do is when I go to Google um, I'm gonna be making my son a peeps shirt for Easter so I like to just peeps oh, my camera's in the way peeps and I'll do clip art and then images and just find one that you like if you want these, you can use those, or you know the chicken, or just anything that you like. Um, so what I do is I've already done this, but to show you, I'll save this one. Right click, I save picture as. Okay, and I would save it, but I've already got it saved. Then you go to Design Space, upload image. Upload image, browse, and this will bring up all the images that you have saved from any point in time. So here's my peep that I saved. You'll double click on that, put that into Design Space, and we all know how it goes really slow. <laughs> Go to simple image because this is just a fairly really simple image. Continue. And then what you can do is here is the wand that everybody's talking about right here. You select it and you click on any part of the image that you do not want to go to design space. Like the white, the background, turn it all the blue and white checkered pattern. If I didn't want the nose, I would click on the nose and then you would click on your eraser, bring it up and you would just erase it. But I, I want the nose. So when you get done editing that image, you go to continue. And here's where a lot of people are skipping a step or messing up. And I did it when I first started out too. I couldn't figure it out for nothing. If you want to print the image, you would save as a print. If you want to cut it out in vinyl or HTV or on freezer paper, you save it as a cut image. And save. It goes to your uploaded images. And I already have it there, so I'm going to delete it. So then you would select it. You can see it puts it right here. And you can also take it off by clicking right there Once you, if you decide you don't want that. But insert image. And then it brings it onto design space. Onto your project mat. So what I did is take it and I wanted four. So instead of having to go back to upload images and click it and insert again, you can click it. Duplicate as many times as you want, and I'm going to do four. I like to select all, align, and I'm going to do it vertically. So they're all aligned even, and try to space them out evenly. Okay, and what I'm going to do on his is I want to have one of them wearing a cool pair of shades. So I'm going to type in sunglasses on insert images, type in sunglasses, and what I want to do is I want to weed out 
all of the images that I would have to pay for. So I'm going to go to the filter up here, click on Cricut Access, and that filters out to make it to where every one of these that comes up are the ones that I pay for with Access. And I like these. So you click on them, insert image, and it brings it up and they're actually in two layers. So I don't want the back layer, so I'm going to click one of those off. I'm going to turn them black and then just size them down to fit one of these. And I'm actually going to space these out a little bit more. But just size them down to fit your peep. And then you got one cool peep that's wearing some shades. Um, and then I'll probably throw a, uh, a saying on there, um, you know, just to make it look cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure they're all aligned again because I did move them. And then just align the glasses. Now also I've seen where people are going from this point, um, say I had my sayings up here, um, just click and go. And then everything's getting out of order. So in that instance, what you need to do, if this is how you want it to print out, you select all and attach. So that way when you click go, everything stays exactly the same. And I know that was really stressing a lot of people out and it stressed me out the first several, several times I tried to cut something too. Um, but I hope that helps as far as uploading an image from Google to Design Space. Um, if you want a different image, say this rabbit here, you wanted to do the rabbit because it has more lines and everything to have to weed out. Do upload image, upload, browse, and here's the rabbit. Simple image. You would select your wand and then just go through and weed out all of the white spaces. Don't forget anything that you say if I was to leave it like this with all the white there this is what it would look like. That's what it would look like. So, go back and weed out all of the white. And it may take a while. I've done the mandala images and they've taken me hours to, to do this because they're so intricate. But then when you continue, you can see you have the bunny. So you would save it as a cut image and save it to your uploaded files. So that's the simple gist of how to upload something simple from Google to Design Space. Um, now if you're wanting something a little bit more difficult, please let me know. But that's just the basics. Um, so I hope this helped. We're running it, let's see, 8 minutes. So I'm going to try to cut it short for you. But I hope this helped. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, like, subscribe to my page here on YouTube, and um, I'll be uploading several videos as the requests come in, so I hope this helped. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.